CCLA Investment Management's CIO, James Bevan. Well, James oversees $10 billion there. James, thank you so much for joining us. Now, it, it was a pretty rocky two weeks. Uh, Dubai. Absolutely right. It does seem that the markets will... They're going for it anyway. We saw gains yesterday. Futures are indicating an open start. Are you jittery in these kind of markets? I think in the near term, there are very good reasons to feel quite bullish. And the real challenge, of course, is, is what point may the steam run out? And I, I think when one says to oneself, what are the positive factors? I mean, the first key issue for equities is the forward-looking risk premium. The payment that investors are realistically expecting to participate looks to be about 5.5%, long-run average of about 3.5%, probable uh, fair value of about four and a half percent. Now that means we can expect some near-term outperformance. I think the big issue which you were talking to Bill, Bill about a little earlier is at what point do governments and central banks begin to take away the bow and what then happens to economic growth. Now of course at the moment analysts are busy putting up the numbers that they expect in terms of profits and revenues and that may be under considerable threat. So I suspect this is also now very much a game for the stock pickers. And you know, we talk about index averages as if it's all very clear and straightforward, but in fact the amount of noise beneath the surface is really deafening. We had 10 stocks in the first three quarters, you know, mm. went up by more than 10, uh, 100%. But, uh, James, you're saying, well, of course, we have to be careful when the steam runs out, but it does seem that there's so much liquidity on the markets. When will the steam come out? If they didn't take Dubai as an excuse, do we just need to see interest rates go up for markets to go down? Well, you know, I, I think Dubai is red herring because it's always a very small issue. If you said, you know, what are the major, major issues, China clearly is top of the pile. In terms of interest rates, I also think that the first hike is actually not necessarily damaging to markets. Mm. Uh, I think that I'd be much more worried if bond yields began to rise, and there is a realistic chance that bond yields will rise, so that inevitably becomes a problem. I also think that if analysts begin to downgrade, then the confidence that people have to bet on the future will dissipate, and markets will then go lower too. Okay, uh, talk me through your ideal portfolio. You prefer equity to credit. I think credit's really dangerous right now. I think the spreads simply aren't wide enough, and I think the spreads are over bond yields of governments which themselves are depressed. I would definitely be out of credit. I'm very uh, keen on equity in selected sectors. I think pharmaceuticals are great value. I think some utilities are excellent. I think uh, you nervous telecoms. about financials, though? Well, you know, I think the financials are a really interesting area. I mean, I think this is a very good moment to be looking at Lloyds Bank. I think, you know, everybody said, oh, it's a terrible place. We don't want to go there. You look at what's going on in the pricing of that company. I think we are very, very very close to a bottom from which positive gains can be made. Avoid high leverage. This is your word of advice Absolutely. As well. I think leverage is a really dangerous place to be right now. Uh, I mean, if we're thinking about global banking models, I think you have to look at the BNP Baribas, the HSBCs, the Bank of Santander's, and also I think there is selectively good value in the insurance sector. All right. James, thank you so much for speaking thank to us you. this morning. James Bevan there from CCLA.